Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and uh, happy new year. Uh, you know, to begin with, uh, I want to tell you, uh, you mentioned that like, the word like now becomes, they calculating in millions. But I can tell you where you can touch and embrace like. Because in Lithuanian language, we, we put the endings, it is like us, it is called like us. And it is uh, a very nice dog of my son, uh, who was named because it, the breed is Siberian Laika. So it, its name is like us. So the life is, as you see, very, very close to us. And my speech, I, I will try to do as brief as possible to have a time for discussion, is in two parts. First part is short advertising, and the second part is as brief as I will can, a explanation of this advertising, of, of this study. Uh, first of all, is it, it, it is store strategic technology option assessment uh, institution in the European Parliament. Very effective, uh, very good uh, studies have been done. Uh, and language equality in the digital age towards a human language project. That is uh, the study. Uh, really, I initiated this study. My name is not mentioned here, but uh, really three years ago I initiated that. Why? I must explain you. You can take the copies and see uh, what is inside. I will not go in depth. Uh, uh, but probably this is the first time uh, in Europe, at least, uh, that language technology issue is put as a political issue. And uh, the analysis, very good analysis, was done what to be done with institutions, in, in Europe, this policy, this attitudes that language equality really will become not only right, which everybody understands, and this uh, multilinguality, multiculturality in Europe is it, it is asset. It is uh, it is right for everybody, but you need access, as is name of our today's meeting which is crucial. How to access to this right, especially for, for, for smaller languages. And the, my impression was uh, that there are two solutions for that in Europe. And the, uh, the example is in the European Parliament. One is uh, to provide translation, and that is the case, in, in, at least in plenary, in, 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 in committees, in, in groups, meetings. It is very expensive, you know. Another is to use so-called lingua franca, and we use today. Okay? In the morning, we don't have a translation. We use English as, as a lingua franca. And that is a different thing as in Facebook. In Facebook, I believe they, those persons who, who, who use English, they use as a, their native language or like native language and others, 92 or 78 percent or whatever, in native languages they communicate with their uh, co-native people. But how to cross the translanguage bridges? Technology is the third solution. And we are today in much deeper stage of revolution than was Gutenberg revolution. Uh, I, I really appreciate and, and followed very uh, closely the first, uh, second, and third uh, presentations, uh, what uh, really efforts and understanding is uh, to be done from technical point of view to provide the technical possibilities, technological possibilities to have this access. But that is not enough. 
Maybe that's what I, I give you two examples. How deep still Gutenberg is in our heads. Two examples from my native country, because I know best. You, maybe you, if you, if you be asked to, to name the nation which is crazy on language, you will sell, say that it's Iceland. Lithuania is much more crazy. First uh, example is a rather heroic example. We have in my native Kona city the, uh, the monument. Uh, it, it's called, uh, to translate into English, book carrier. The man with a sack and looking as like, you know, for it, it was a hundred years ago or more than hundred years ago on the Tsarist occupation when script, Latin script, Lithuanian was possible only over the border in Prussia, the Lithuanian minority people were printing books and smuggling into Russian empire in the sacks. And if they were arrested, they go to Siberia. That is heroic kind of. And how it is still crazy in Lithuania, it is recent example, a few months ago, we we have been debated in Parliament, in Lithuanian Parliament, I mean, the change of chair of Lit head of Lithuanian Language Com Commission. And it was a heavy fight, political fight, between two groups, political groups, and they could be named first page and second page, because the debate was to allow in Lithuanian uh, scripture W, which is in Polish and many other languages, but not in Lithuanian. And uh, one political group was to allow only in the second page of your passport, and another was more liberal, to allow in the first page of the passport. And uh, the, the, po uh, the man was appointed on the majority of this point. That is very deep inside. And can you imagine what will become when the true realities of internet will become? I can tell you, uh, very, just at the end, the situation with translation. Because language technology is many branches uh, and, and, uh, and areas of research. But of today's discussion, access to the internet in your native language, you need translation. Let us say from English, it will be just very broad uh, access to, to many uh, pages of information in your native language, and you need translation. And they say that uh, uh, we now have a Google translation or whatever. It's not the case. For, for my language and for many other European languages, it's not the case. It's terrible tr translation. And what is the reality? In Lithuanian, at present moment, the best program which translates from English to Lithuanian have been done in 2008, 10 years ago, is still available on the internet. You can take any English page, you know, and to read in Lithuanian. It is of medium quality on, on today's standards, probably, but it provides you with uh, normal Lithuanian language. You can read without any irritation. It makes mistakes. I checked after that each new uh, uh, program which translates. Statistical, uh, of course, everybody went to statistical translation. Output is terrible. Now you have neural translation. And in Lithuania, we are devoted to this translation. We are crazy on the language, but we are not able to follow the pace because no neural translation is yet in our language. 
they still work on statistical, that it's already outdated. That is the point. And how rapid it is going on. And just to tell you that good and bad revolution is over. That is already leftovers of scripture, that, that, and there's a lot of jobs still to do. Still craziness in, 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 in our minds uh, about W. It is Gutenberg revolution left over. On internet in the future, there will be no problems in that. They will be solved. But translation and e language equality, it is challenge. It is challenge. And thank you for organizing this meeting. Thank you for attention. And uh, if you are interested, you can access in the, or the internet or, or whatever, uh, and, and to see that there are really problems and possibilities to solve them. Thank you.